In 1960, Dwight Eisenhower was in the last full year of his presidency. He was scheduled to meet with Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev with the hope of relaxing tensions at the height of the Cold War. In May of that year, an incident happened that changed those plans. Eisenhower announced that a weather monitoring plane had veered off course into Soviet airspace. Days later, on May 7th, Khrushchev revealed what really happened, that the plane wasn't on a weather monitoring mission. It was in fact a U-2 spy plane and the Soviets had shot it down. The American government thought the pilot had been killed and released the cover story, not knowing that the Soviets had captured the pilot alive and well. The incident was an embarrassment for Eisenhower, who was forced to admit that the weather story was a lie. He had approved the U-2 flight so the United States could penetrate the Soviets, their close totalitarian system, and gain data on their military capabilities. When Khrushchev demanded an apology, Eisenhower refused, citing the fact that the Soviets were doing their own spying on the United States. The Manhattan Project, anyone? Unfortunately, the incident ended any chance of relaxing tensions during the Cold War. And it just goes to show, spying at high altitudes is nothing new.